like a bow. So the first one is this, ladies and gentlemen. Letting a man disrespect you. Look, when I mean disrespect, there's a lot of things that could be deemed disrespect, okay? For example, I find it disrespectful when a woman is more than 15 minutes late on a date. She may not see it as disrespect, but I see it as disrespect. Whatever you deem disrespectful, you gotta call people out on, out on it and say that you didn't like it. You don't have to spank them, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to whoop their ass. All you gotta do is just let them know that you don't like that and that hopefully they don't repeat it again, okay? But the point is, is that it actually shows strength whenever you tell somebody what they did was disrespectful. Why? Because people will disrespect you to test you, to see whether or not they could get away with it. Guys will disrespect you to see whether or not they could get away with it, right? And the key is, is that if they do it, you call them out on it. And the next time you do it, you don't call them out on it. You just pull away. I just did that to a fucking bitch, right? This chick was late the first date and I called her out. I was like, look, man, you were 30 minutes late because she was coming over to my place. You were 30 minutes late. Next time, don't do that, please, because I don't like that. And then we were supposed to hang out last Saturday and she didn't even fucking text me. Then she came over two days ago and I completely forgot she did that. When she came over and she wanted to have sex, I was like, no, nah, we ain't having sex. You're making it up to me. You either make it up to me because you canceled. You literally didn't, didn't come on a date or you go home. You either make it up for me or you just go home. And she went home. Clearly, she didn't want to respect me. She, she just wanted me to let her do whatever the fuck she wanted because she goes out with her simp boys and just have the privilege to have sex with her. Get the fuck out of here, man. Value respect over everything else and everything will fall into place. Second thing, double texting. Lording, heaven have mercy. If this dude does not respond to you, take a hint, okay? People have a hard time rejecting people particularly men rejecting women. Men have a harder time rejecting women than men than women do with men because men are not used to um, um, rejecting women. And also, men know that women have fragile egos. They don't like to be rejected, okay? So sometimes when a man doesn't find you attractive, he'll just ghost you, okay? And you gotta learn to take a hint. He did not forget to text you back. He didn't, he, he didn't have temporary amnesia to forget about you, okay? He just doesn't like you. And anybody who tells you that it's okay to double text a guy, let me tell you something, man. If you want to listen to that, go listen to that person and don't watch my channel. Because that makes you look so... Jason, when a woman double texts me, I'm like, she's sucking this dick tonight. She's sucking this dick. Thoroughly. Because double texting just pretty much just exposes you. Or even calling multiple times. Lord have mercy. All right, man. Next point, man. Third thing, texting too fast. Look, I know this is rocket science, but literally texting too fast and texting after sex makes you look desperate, right? What I'm saying is this, you take, you always respond quickly. Unless you're doing that to break the pattern, that's okay. But if your natural habit is to text fast, I don't give a fuck if you say I'm just being polite. People, it, it's what they interpret that matters. They're gonna interpret it as though you're needy. You get what I'm trying to say? I would highly recommend you guys that you develop this pattern of texting. Like I always say, I gotta tell you guys because a lot of you guys don't listen to what I'm saying. The first text of the day take two or three hours to respond. Once I out, out of every five first text, respond fast. Just keep them off guard, okay? And then go back and forth to home three or four times taking five, between five to, to 20 minutes to respond and then go back to two hours. And then from time to time, break those rules, right? Like once out of every five times, break, break those rules so that he doesn't see a pattern. But by simply doing that, you're not gonna look desperate. And after you have sex with a guy, don't text him no Let that motherfucker text you, right? And if you're like, but he was a good guy. Listen to me, man. If he likes you, he'll text you back, okay? Don't look desperate. And then tell people you watch my channel. Asking, what are we? Look, if after three or four months, a guy doesn't want a relationship, get the hint. I don't give a fuck if his cat died. I don't give a fuck if granny died, if granny fell down the goddamn stairs, okay? If the guy doesn't want a relationship after three or four months, max five months. If the guy doesn't want a relationship, boo boo, it's not that he's not sucking his dick right. He don't like you. Do not ask him what are we. You're gonna look even more desperate. It's better off that if he's not giving you what you want, leave and then, it, he'll either chase after you or let you walk away.
bluffing that you're gonna stand up for yourself. It's like when a parent tells you they're gonna punish you and they don't punish you. Deep down, you wish they'll punish you because you wanna respect them, right? Deep down, you want to respect your parents. Deep down, he wants to respect you. I once had a girl say, I'm not gonna suck your dick today because because you did something, I remember I disrespected her. She's like, I'm not sucking your dick today, okay? And then I was like, oh, really, huh? And he's like, no, I'm not fucking your dick today. I'm like, okay, all right. We all know how that story ended. We ended up reading the Bible together. Right? <laughs> Verse, now, nah, okay, now nah, nah, she ended up doing that. But I'm sorry, at the end of the day, I ended up losing respect for her. I really did, right? Because I'm like, damn, girl, you should have not said, you should have, you should have kept your words. I would have respected you so much. I would respect you so much. Ladies, if you say you're gonna break up with a motherfucker and you don't do it, don't talk just to fucking talk. People pay attention. They notice if you're just a bluffer. They don't respect that. Do what you say you're gonna do. You get what I'm trying to say? So if you bluff, stand up. For, when you bluff, stand up for yourself, guys just lose respect for you because it's sad. it shows that you're desperate. It shows that you wanna stand up for yourself, but you just can't. It's not a good look. He loses respect to you. He even kind of feels pity for you, to be honest with you. Sixth, talking too much on dates and making too many facial expressions. Oh my God, what you said was so incredible, the lights. Anyways, oh really? Oh my God, oh, oh my God, that's so crazy. Oh my God. Like, you know, like, like talking too fucking much, having too many facial expressions, all of those things show that you either one psycho or you're too goddamn excited, you're too desperate. All of those things communicate subconsciously that you're desperate. It's not a good look, it's actually what, some crazy women do the whole fucking, like too many face, fucking facial expressions, right? I recommend you lower your non-verbals. <laughs> lower your non-verbals, right? Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually happy to see you. It's kind of crazy, right? You just slow the fuck down. You don't need to tell people everything that's on your goddamn mind, woman. Talking about the future. Saying we should go here. On the first date, would you go here and you know what, next week I should introduce you to my friends? Look, stay in the present moment. Do not talk about future dates with a guy that you're just on a first date with, okay? Don't say am I gonna see you after the first date, okay? Because when you do that, you're just looking desperate, right? It's not a good look, okay? It's better off to give the impression that you don't wanna see him, okay? Why? But, but when he does text you, right? Because if you give up the impression that, that you don't wanna see him, what a guy would do after the day is that he'll text you to see the buying temperature. If you gave up the impression by literally lowering your non-verbals, slowing down your speech, you literally slow down your speech, you even pause between words, right? When he talks and it's time for you to respond, you take half a second longer to respond, everything is slower, right? When you do that, it gives off the impression that you're in control, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever wanna learn how to use your feminine energy, to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get him. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's, it's your bodyguard. Without this, your, whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your, fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're gonna be talking about how to, um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal-oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you, know, it, you know? Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one, would, this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. 
After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really, most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.